ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Hey, this is James Spann with the Afternoon Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 16th of January, and winter weather in Alabama. Let's go to the Skycam images this afternoon, and look at that. That is a still image coming from Hamilton. That's the Skycam just above Corridor X. Down below, that's traffic on U.S. Highway 78, and uh, pretty amazing. We've been watching that video, and they have had really heavy snow falling now for uh, a couple of hours, but temperatures are above freezing. No travel problems. Those roads are just wet. Readings are in the uh, mid-30s now, but that is an amazing scene, just beautiful. Now, so far, the precipitation has been much lighter. This is the Coleman Sky Cam, and you can see not much happening there. And down in Jasper, there have been some snowflakes, but at the moment, uh, the roads there are just wet. And again, at all of these sites, temperatures are above freezing. We don't expect any travel problems. The only potential is up there in that far northeastern corner of the state, up on the high terrain locations, especially in Jackson and DeKalb counties uh, tonight, where a, a winter weather advisory is up for a little bit of bridge icing. And even there, it's just going to be spotty and temporary. Here's our big storm. Uh, coming across the southeastern states. If only the thermal profile was a tad colder, this could be a dandy of a winter storm. Uh, there's the surface chart. The surface low is south of the Louisiana coast at mid-afternoon. And we're up there in that big comma head where you can see some pretty good snow falling if the air is cold enough. And there's the radar. And generally speaking, uh, the snow today has been north of a line from uh, Vernon to Fayette to Jasper and Onayana. Now, there have been a few ice pellets and snowflakes mixed in down into Birmingham and places like that, but uh, not much. All of the significant snow has been up north, but even there, there's just not any accumulation because the ground is warm and temperatures, again, are above freezing, so it's not causing any travel issues. There's a look at the temperature profile this afternoon. You can see that we've got the evaporative cooling process. And for many spots, they started around 40 at mid-morning. They have dropped down into the mid-30s this afternoon. But with warm air advection over the next couple of hours, temperatures will hold steady or gradually rise. So, again, no travel issues. In fact, there's a look at some of the actual uh, observations across the state. I know it kind of cuts off the Tennessee Valley, but uh, at uh, 1 o'clock, you can see Birmingham at 41, Anniston 44, Tuscaloosa 39. And uh, here's our QPF graphic. This is the expected rain across the country for the next five days. And this counts the rain we'll have today and tonight. And uh, three inches on the Gulf Coast. And you can see the guys at HPC did indeed jog that northward. This is suggesting Birmingham might pick up a little over one-half inch with this. And the amounts taper off up toward the Shoals area. But again, uh, one-half inch of rain likely. There's a look at the accumulated snow potential for tonight. The better chance of getting some good snow on the ground. The mountains of eastern Tennessee and western North Carolina. Icing tonight could be an issue over north Georgia, up into the low elevations of the uh, mountains, and that's uh, uh, where it could be pretty messy. And there's a winter storm watch, by the way, for that region, for the possibility of some icing and the snow for the high terrain. And even down, in, again, in that northeastern corner of Alabama, we're talking Jackson and DeKalb counties, there could be a little bridge icing on the elevated, uh, the, the high terrain locations up on Lookout Mountain. Uh, day two, this is tomorrow, the uh, snow belt moves northeast from the mountains of Virginia on up into uh, New England. And the Arctic front coming down across the Great Lakes. Snow will be developing over much of Wisconsin and Michigan tomorrow. And the icing problems tomorrow will be primarily over the western part of North Carolina and Virginia. We'll go through model output. This is the uh, GFS valid at noon tomorrow. We've still got a southwest flow aloft here, so the sky will stay cloudy much of the day, but this storm is out of here at midday. In fact, it's really moving ahead of schedule. The rain should be over pretty early in the morning. Uh, cloudy and cool tomorrow. Here's a look at Friday. The Arctic air begins to get close. We note that uh, overrunning rain down there in the Gulf of Mexico. We'll go to Friday night at midnight, and with the Arctic front, the GFS suggesting the potential for a few showers, rain showers on the south side of the front, some snow showers once the front passes. But again, moisture very limited, so it shouldn't amount to anything. And there's a look at the uh, NAM Friday night at midnight, pretty much the same story. So I think we'll mention a chance of some light rain or rain showers late Friday and Friday night, maybe a few snow showers after midnight. And then Saturday, it just turns cold. The thickness values are dropping like a rock. 
Uh, wind chill values below freezing, the high for Birmingham only in the mid-30s. In fact, the wind chill could be down in the single digits at times. And then Sunday, the surface high is closer to us, and we think Sunday morning we go down in the teens. We're forecasting an average low of 18, but the colder valleys 10 to 15 degrees. Monday of next week, dry and cool. Here comes that next wave on Tuesday. The GFS doing a little better job with picking up the uh, rain with that feature. And again, it looks like rain for the most part. But we'd have to note there is a 1,040 millibar high over Kansas City. That's cold. And on the northern periphery of that, there could be some icing issues with that thin layer of cold air near the surface. So, again, we'll deal with that uh, once we get this thing tonight out of here. And then Wednesday of next week, that system is on by. Out there deeper into voodoo country, this is the 26th of January. Nice short wave northwest of the state. That looks like a good rain event if that's the case. And on the 30th of January, long wave trough to the west. Looks potentially wet. And again, cold air shots from time to time. We think the rest of the month temperatures will average a bit below normal rainfall and precipitation above normal. And that's a good thing. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. Notes on the blog. A bunch of pictures over there of the snow as well. AlabamaWX.com if you're watching this on YouTube or iTunes. And the next video here will be posted by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening and God bless.